and uh, I'm going to show you uh, what it looks like when our venous flytraps come out of tissue culture. So we're at the tail end of a big deflasking session here, getting ramped up for spring 2021, uh, bringing you guys some good plants. So uh, we've been doing about eight or ten jars every day for the last five or six days, and we're about to finish here, and I wanted to give you guys a little sample of what it looks like when the plants come out of tissue culture. So this one here is Trev's Dracula. It's from Trev Cox in Ireland. Uh, there's quite a few clones going around. This was a really big time plant that was released in probably like early 2010s, like two, 2010 or 2011 by Trev. And it's a beautiful plant. And what happens sometimes with those types of plants is people try to create their own and call it the same thing. But that's why we clone plants. So you know you're getting the real thing. This one came directly from Trev Cox. Um, so anyway, let's take a look at what these babies look like coming out of tissue culture. So this is a MK7 vessel from Kaisan Laboratories. Actually, it's MK5. And uh, here's the little baby plants, what they look like in tissue culture. And this is the media that they've been growing on. We use a gelling agent called uh, carrageenan to make it, it looks kind of like licorice jello, I guess. The black stuff is actually activated charcoal, which absorbs some of the hormones that they were used, that were used when they were propagated, and also creates a darker bottom so that they can grow roots better. And uh, so let's take a look at this. We just rinse off the media, which is, it really does feel like jello. Uh, so we'll rinse that off and then start cleaning the plants before we get them prepared to put in soil. So deflasking is the last step of tissue culture and I plan to make some more videos and show you guys all the steps along the way. But I thought I'd, since I was deflasking right now, I'd go ahead and show you what the plants look like coming out of tissue culture. So. This is the bottom of the jar now that you're looking at, and you can see some of the rhizomes coming out of here. This is about as big as the plants get coming out of tissue culture. So, um, yeah, these are really nicely established. They got a little bit of roots growing on them there. If you can see that. And uh, what I do is I just peel off anything. This was the plant that actually started the culture that grew into this larger plant. My hands are shaking. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Your hands are always like that. Yeah, I know they're always like that. Uh, so anyway, yeah, this is about as big as they get coming out of tissue culture. Sometimes you get them a little larger. It depends on the clone. Every clone grows slightly differently, just like they do in, in the soil. They grow slightly differently in tissue culture. So what I do is propagate these babies, take them out of the jars, clean them up, and then later Leo will pot all these guys Yay. into... Uh, actual moss to grow out for next spring and then they go under lights in the garage uh, also known as our grow area <laughs> and my tissue culture lab we're so fancy but uh, anyway <laughs> just thought I'd show you guys a little bit of the plants coming out so these should be nice looking real looking Dracula plants by next spring probably hopefully maybe midsummer so anyway that's all we got thanks for watching we've had an observer this whole time Nez, right bear Hi, Say are. hi. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> okay, not now. He's very vociferous sometimes. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.